Hey everyone, welcome to another Senior Fiddlesticks how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Pixelmon mod. So pretty straightforward how we're going to do that, and the links will be in the description of this video that we'll be using. Um, I have these two windows up because you may want to go to the original site, and that's fine. I will warn you, however, um, this one, the Pixelmon site, does happen to have a lot of ads, and it's kind of complicated to find the actual download link. But in case the version has updated since I've released this video, you may want to go there to get the, the latest version. But currently, what we're going to be installing is version 3.3.8, which is the recommended for Minecraft 1.7.10. And like I said, there's download links here. They are kind of hard to navigate. you got to go through a couple different loops um, or hoops you have to jump through of ads to get to the right link to download. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to do that particular process because the links in this video will take you directly to download pages. Um, and then Forge is not too complicated as far as downloads, but sometimes it's hard to find the right version. So I've included the correct version in this video. So step one, what we're going to do is we're just going to prepare our, um, our Forge. We're going to install Forge and prepare a profile for Pixelmon mod. Now what they recommend with Pixelmon is that we use the Forge 1230, and that's the last four numbers in the in the link there, that 1230. The latest one as of this video is 1291 and you can see that here if you go to this um, files.minecraftforge.net and click on this little drop down and choose 1.7.10 and it shows you all the versions that they have up here that they're, that they're um, showing besides the legacy builds. So the latest version right now is 1291. It does work with that version if you want to use that. That's totally cool, totally up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the recommended version. So the first thing you'll do is you're going to install the installer from the link in the video. And I'm going to just run that really quick. Okay, so the link in, your, in the description of this video should look like this. It's one of those AdFly links. And if we just go straight to that link, it's going to take us to this little ad. You just wait for the timer to go down. So click Skip Ad, and that should start your download. If you're running Google Chrome, you'll get a warning that says, do you want to keep or discard? Um, different browsers may word this differently. The idea is that you want to keep it or download it or save it, whatever, whatever the option is there for your browser. So we download Forge, and then I'm, I can just click on this file right here, and that will run it. If you don't see it there, if you don't know where it went, it should be in your downloads folder, which is under your profile name, if you're in Windows 7, it would look like this. Start your name, downloads, and there it is right there, and you can run it. Um, each win version of Windows is slightly different. Um, Windows 7 and 8 should both be in the downloads folder. XP might be in your My Documents and then in the downloads folder. So once it comes up, the installer comes up, it should be on Install Client. It should have the default location of Minecraft already in there, and just click OK. So it's a pretty quick process. It just downloads a couple libraries and then it should come up saying complete, successfully installed, blah, 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 and just click OK. So now that we've installed Forge, the second step is we're going to run Minecraft and create a profile for our Pixelmon mod that we're going to be installing. Okay, so once Minecraft is loaded up here, we're going to just click New Profile. And I'm going to give it the name... Pixelmon latest, because I do have another Pixelmon on here, and then I'm going to give it a profile name. You don't have to have the little dot in the profile name. I like to keep it there um, in the game directory name, I mean. Um, I like to keep it there just because it helps me organize my game directories when I go in there, but um, it's not important. You can name it anything as long as it's in this roaming, um, the roaming profile here with your name, your username, and all that. So just take away that first part and then add in whatever you're going to call it. We'll call this Pixelmon Latest. And then under Use Version, I'm going to choose Release 1230. So Forge for 1.7.10 and ending in 1230. And then just click Save Profile. And then I'm going to go down here and choose Pixelmon Latest and then click Play. So the reason I click play after I choose that profile is it downloads everything necessary for that particular profile, sets up the profile folder um, that we just told it to create, and um, gets it ready for us to put our, our mod in there. But I'm not going to actually play the game, so I'm going to click play, and then once the play screen 
comes up where I would choose single or multiplayer, I'm going to actually quit Minecraft at that point. So at this point, I'm just going to quit game. And then I'm going to go back over here to Pixelmon. And again, I'm going to use the link from my video in the description. It's a lot more direct. You can get straight to the download. But if you see a, a newer version here that's been released under the recommended section and you want to try it, um, feel free. You'll just have to jump through those hoops. So let's go ahead and click on that next link for, for uh, Pixelmon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the next link for Pixelmon. And I've got that in there. And wait for the five seconds. The Pixelmon mod is quite large, so it's going to take a little longer to download. So I'll just click Skip Add, and then I'll get that same little security warning. Do you want to keep Pixelmon? Blah, blah, blah. So I say Keep. And it looks like we got about eight, seven or eight minutes for that to download. So I'm going to let that download and then and pause the video, and then I'll jump back in. Okay, so we're back. Uh, Pixelmon has finished downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my Downloads folder and into my Mods folder. I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is you go to your Start or your Search button, and you put in percent app data percent, spelled just like that, percent app data percent, and press Enter. And that brings up this folder, this roaming folder. And inside there you'll see I have all my different profile folders for Minecraft. And here's my .pixelmon latest that I just created. And as you can see, it created a few folders. One of them is called Mods. You'll jump inside that folder. And of course, so far we have no mods installed for this profile. And so now I'm going to go over to my Downloads folder and get that Pixelmon mod that just finished downloading. So I go to Start and My Name. Click on Downloads. And inside here is my Pixelmon file. And so I'm going to just drag and drop it straight into my Mods folder over here. So just click that and drag it over, drop it there. And when I do that, it moves it. So it takes it out of downloads and puts it here. So if in the future I want to go back looking for it, it's not going to be in downloads. It's going to be in this profile folder. And that's it. My mod is installed now. So now the next step is just to test it out, launch up Minecraft, and make sure everything works. So I'll just close this, close these links here. I don't need the browser open anymore. And then I'll jump back over. Okay, and so then now that I've got all that closed, I'm going to launch up my Minecraft. Okay, so Minecraft's back up. It's back on the Pixelmon latest profile like I left it. I'm going to click play. And with a generic Forge install, or just a regular Forge install, it should have three mods loaded. So because I added the Pixelmon mod, we should see that it has four mods loaded now when it comes up. Okay, so it's loaded up. And as you can see, it says four mods active. If I look at what mods they are, we have Pixelmon working. And I'm just going to click single player. We'll just create a quick new world here and load it up and make sure it comes up. Okay, so we're in and it starts out here at this screen where it has a little intro. And then if I continue from here, it's going to have me choose my Pokemon and so on. So that's all there is to it. Pokemon's installed, Pokemon mod is installed, it's working. And um, Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and clear enough. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more how-to videos like this and also some Let's Play videos. And I'm going to start doing a new series of Let's Play um, that's going to be pretty fun. So um, yeah, so that's it for this video and thanks for watching.